So I was a good consumer on Black Friday. I got nearly like 700 bucks in DeWalt stuff. I'm going to show you what I got and all of the stuff. Uh, it's not even it's not even like consumerism because all the stuff I'm going to put to good work. I got a lot of carpentry I'm going to do with this stuff. Um, so anyway, I'll show you what I got just because why not? Because I feel like I got a pretty good deal on them, uh, all things considered. So this is a, a DeWalt 12-inch sliding compound, miter saw, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is sort of the higher end one. Now, if you, I think I mentioned in another video, I was going to get Harbor Freight, which is usually the place where you buy cheap garbage. Harbor Freight has this new line called Hercules that's supposed to be like higher end competitors to DeWalt. And I saw some really good reviews of that. And we actually originally went to Harbor Freight and I got the Hercules sliding miter saw, whatever. Actually, I'm going to plug this thing in. We'll rev it just to do it. I got this Hercules miter saw. And uh, the thing is, we went to Lowe's later. I'm trying to plug this in. Yeah, that's right. I'm wearing socks with sandals. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's right. Nothing. Um, so we got the Hercules miter saw, but then we went to Lowe's and we saw this one. The Hercules one was like 300 bucks. Okay. Um, but then we went to see, we went to Lowe's and this one was going for 400 and I was like, that's pretty good. And I looked a little closer. My cousin was like, who was with me? He was like, oh, look, it comes with the stand for free. So I was like, okay, I had been suppressing in my head the fact that I wouldn't have a, a stand for it if I got the Hercules. So I was like, okay, this is actually much better of a deal. And it came with a blade too. So anyway, I'll just rev it. it has one of these little safety latches, you know, you uh, put this thing down, rev it. Yep. So I haven't actually done any cutting with this. I'm still sort of getting everything uh, worked together, making sure everything's right. Um, it is, uh, it did come pretty, let me actually show you with a straight edge or a, a speed square that it is totally at a right angle. So every once in a while you'll get one that, you know, comes and it's a little, it'll be like a degree off or something like that. But this one looks pretty fun. So in addition to the miter saw, now this is the big ticket item. Again, costs 400 bucks with this thing, but this is like something that I, I expect to last for a long time and it comes with a decent warranty. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, but in addition to that, I needed to get, I actually don't have a drill and impact driver. So uh, I got a drill and an impact driver uh, as well. And these were at Lowe's too. Like I spent a whole lot of money at Lowe's, frankly, but again, all of it's a good investment. And we actually, me and my cousin both got one of these or one of these packages. It was 250 for this pack with both of them and, you know, a charger and stuff like that. And these are the made in America ones, made in America with global materials, you know, basically means part of it's made in America. Um, but these, uh, so these again are, are pretty much higher end. They're brushless, uh, 20 volt, stuff like that. Um, and the thing about that in, you know, as I said, it was 250 for that pack. And you could, if you want just more tools, you could get another one with more stuff in it that either costs more or isn't American made. Um, but uh, we got that and that come came as a deal with uh, another tool of your choice. So I got a jigsaw. My cousin who got the deal as well, he got it with a sander or something like that. Oh, oh yeah. And I also got, uh, they had a sale on... Um, you know, bits and stuff like that. Like all these four were like 20. Um, so now, you know, I really don't like the color yellow. I don't, I don't necessarily like that all my stuff is, is yellow, but DeWalt is, you know, a, a high reputation company. And at least some of it's made in America. You know, this thing's made in Mexico. But of course, the stuff made in America is probably made in America by Mexicans. I, I'd rather have stuff made in Mexico by Mexicans sometimes. Anyway, uh, so that's about it. So I expect to get a, so this is the saw I'm going to be using. Um, again, the only thing I, I really need now is a table saw so I can cut things long. Although for a couple simple projects, this is going to be enough. Uh, I'm, I want to make a little cutting board for my kitchen. I think this will be long enough. I think do I have a, uh, I want to see how long this whole thing is. Uh, again, the blade is 12 inches. So I guess with the, you could probably cut, you know, 13 and a half because it goes, yeah, it goes all the way out. So um, so nice tool. I'll tell you how it goes. Again, this is a very well repute saw, but I will tell you what my performance with it is as I, you know, build some stuff myself, but you'll see that in videos anyway. All right. A little update. See you guys next time.